and welcome to the Celebs and News Terror channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, I had a question posed to me, uh, one of my viewers, okay? The name is Lynn. Thank you so much for requesting this video, Lynn. I, I thought that that was a great question, okay? Why do some readers, not all, claim that Princess Catherine is dead, okay? Why do some terror readers, psychics online on YouTube claim that Princess Catherine is currently dead. As far as I know, based on my cards, I did get a lot of big signs of revolution, of transformation, of uh, endings and beginnings, things like that. And I even got a couple of signs, a few signs here and there, like coffin, you know, all the stuff. So, you know, in that sense, I can relate to what they're saying. But in my esoteric training, I, I got trained at a mystical school uh, for five years. I'm not saying that these other tarot readers are not skilled. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I am skilled and I know what I'm doing uh, in the sense that I've been trained on the fundamentals of tarot and even gone deeper than that, getting into the, the Kabbalistic properties of these cards and also just getting trained in just occultism and esotericism in general. Um, I am a Christian though. I am Christian. I have Christian values. I take something from everything and I put all the information together uh, to help me form a coherent image of what is going on. And I got 20 plus years of tarot reading experience for others, not just for myself. So my cards, my intuition, my wisdom is telling me that Princess Catherine is alive. In fact, I had a dream about her recently uh, where we were uh, at a dinner party and this is all symbolic. I do not want to go to a dinner party with Princess Catherine. I'm not interested in going to meet Princess Catherine anywhere. Anyway, back to my story about the dream of Princess Catherine. I was at a dinner party with her in this dream and ended up, she started feeling kind of tired um, and then I offered to help her go find a better seating. You know, because dreams usually don't make sense, okay? Sometimes psychic impressions and dreams don't make any sense. There's no way that I would be sitting next to Princess Catherine at a dinner party. I just, I don't know her, I'm not in her social circles, but this is what dreams do. They give us signs in, and symbols, and it's our job to interpret them accurately. So I don't think this dream means that Princess Catherine and I are besties, okay? No, I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. And I think that's the difference between myself and some of these tarot readers is what you see isn't always what you get, okay? My dream showed that I was at a dinner party with Princess Catherine. Uh, her family, people, you know, the king was there and all that, but their faces were blurred out. Camilla was there, you know, um, all the family members, all the royal family members were there, but their faces were blurred out. So I knew it was them, but it was her face I saw clearly. And, and even my husband was there. And I sat next to her and we ended up just hitting it off and we were chatting and there's just a lot and I guess because of all the readings I've done about her I felt connected to her that could be part of it and I think she was talking to me on the astral and then she said I'm feeling a little faint feeling a little tired uh, I need to go t take a break and I thought hey you know I'm I'm feeling okay I can assist her I said hey let me help you and so she put her arm around my shoulder and I helped guide her to a seating area where she could sit comfortably and uh, just kind of calm down and kind of take a deep breath and relax, okay? Because she was feeling tired and winded just from sitting there chit-chatting with me and chit-chatting with the king, the queen, and everyone else at this dinner party. Okay, so again, I'm gonna tell you, I don't think I will ever be sitting with the king and queen and Princess Catherine or any of them at a dinner party in reality. Um, this is just what I dreamed. It was a dream. I woke up thinking to myself, what a lovely person she is. What a lovely person. And the energy, all we can interpret is energy and symbols. We have energies and symbols. That's what, all we get. The actual thing we're seeing is not the real thing. We have to go behind the scenes. We have to go behind the surface. So uh, based on what I saw, I think she's fine. But I want to see what the cards have to say. You know, you have to pick a medium and stick with it. So I'm going to get in there and take a look at why are some tarot readers still claiming that Princess Catherine is dead? All right, let's take a good look. Okay, let's take a look at these cards. We have Rescue. Okay. Okay. Next, we have Trust. And lastly, we have Something Hidden. Okay, so I think that psychics and tarot readers are, are still saying that Princess Catherine is dead because they feel that they want to rescue Princess Catherine. They want to rescue Princess Catherine. They want to assist Princess Catherine. Okay, they want to assist her uh, because they feel that something is being hidden about her. They feel that something is being hidden about her. There's some information about her that's being hidden. Uh, so they may be accurate about that. I mean, they're probably, yeah, they're probably, I felt like there, uh, there are things being hidden about Princess Catherine myself. 
but they they want to help her they want to make sure they want to rescue her spirit they feel that she has been sort of isolated and cut off and they want to see if they can rescue her they want to lend her a helping hand okay they feel that something has been hidden about her let's keep looking uh and see what's going on here intelligence wow okay so they're using their wits okay they're using their wits these terror readers and psychics that are claiming that princess catherine is dead they have sort of deduced they're using their intelligence they're thinking it out they're thinking out to themselves like how did this like there's something they see there's something they see okay i'm getting intelligence so a lot of them are intelligent okay i'm just trying to understand why is it that they are saying that Princess Catherine is dead. Let's see what their reasons are. Success, right? So they're being smart about something. They're being smart about something because it is helping them to achieve success, okay? They're using their intelligence to achieve success when it comes to the ailing person. Deathbed, cancer, last words, last will and testament, last rites, near death, right? So they feel that Princess Catherine I think that they're still saying that Princess Catherine is dead because uh, they, they want to succeed in getting this information correct. And I think that some of them even had already seen that she was sick. And so because they foresaw that she was sick before she even said anything, this is what's emboldening them to make that leap. To say, no, they are hiding her sickbed. They are hiding the fact that she had said some last words. Okay? And the, these tarot readers and psychics are saying this because, you know, the royal family was trying to hide that Princess Catherine was sick. Also, they trust themselves because they've had a lot of success with other readings. Okay? Awesome. And they want to use their intelligence to try to help rescue or save Princess Catherine or Princess Catherine's memory. Okay? Interesting. A lot of good motives here. Okay, let's take a look at the next set of cards. We have sap, okay? Needed materials, resources, okay? Physical health, sap, all right? So, you know, when I see sap, I'm seeing someone who's getting something valuable out of a big tree, okay? Let's keep looking, let's keep looking. And sap implies also resources, okay? We have earn, loss, death, forfeiture, grief, closed up, bereaved, breakup, poverty, collapse, dispossess, remove, dismantle, deprive, absence, change of state, setback, it's over, done. I do see that some readers and psychics are wanting to sort of milk and profit and gain from, as you can see with the sap bucket here, the idea that she had died. They wanted to sort of milk it and get something from it. Okay. And then we're getting dynamite, excitement, passion, keg, energetic breakup, catalyst for change, explosive, short fuse, firecracker, blast, sudden, unexpected, fast. Any any tarot reader you see online, okay, that is doing readings about a celebrity, in a sense is sort of taking from that celeb, uh, like by basically saying, I'm going to do a reading about you and that's going to bring attention to me. That's going to bring certain resources to me. I'm going to do a reading about you. So if that celebrity did not exist, there wouldn't be a celebrity to do a reading about. And so I feel that they are using their intelligence to sort of get what they need out of the situation. I feel that they feel that they are successful at viewing Princess Catherine as dead. It feels like maybe some of them had divined or seen an urn when they had been dealing with her. They'd seen the casket. They'd seen a casket. They'd been seeing a funeral scene. They'd been seeing a burial scene. And what this can also mean, when you see a burial scene, all right, and all that, it could be a change of state. Um, it can be a setback. It can be a breakup. It's not just about death. We see bereaved. We see death. Sure. But it's a loss. It's grief. I think that Princess Catherine and her family were experiencing a lot of grief about Princess Catherine's um, uh, physical condition and her health. They couldn't believe it. They could not believe it. And so they were processing Princess Catherine's family. I think the Middletons and also maybe you know, William and their family. They were just like, but well, she's young. Princess Catherine is young. She's doing well. How come she was almost taken away from us? How come she is this sick? I think that the family, Middletons, all of them, they went through a state of grief over this news. They went through a state of grief, a mourning over her illness, okay? 
if you have a family member that has cancer is be hopeful be positive be supportive of that person make them think of life bring life to them pray to God meditate start doing some Joe Dispenza meditations or something I don't know you know start giving giving the medicines and good foods pour life into them this is what we do when we know that someone we love is dying but the flip side of this is that we come away from this news when we first hear that someone in our family someone we care about is dying we go through a mourning over that news when we hear that someone we love has a, a, a bad illness that could take that person away from us we cry over that we cry over the threat we mourn the threat this is what the psychics and the terror readers are picking up on that's what I think they're picking up on the shock of the news of what Catherine healthy strong Catherine slim you know maintain her weight everything the, the princess of Wales with a very nice lifestyle she has cancer what so I think that this shock reverberated through the royal family through the Middletons and people in her close circle and this is what the other terror readers and psychics are picking up on okay psychics and terror readers pick up on emotions on energies and it doesn't necessarily mean it's absolutely happened that this person died they've just picked up on that ailing energy and that sense of mourning okay let me go ahead and pick up the next set of cards be right back Gas leak. Signs of a natural gas leak include odor, visual cues like bubbling water and dead vegetation and a hissing sound near the gas line. They had picked up on signals, okay? The other tarot readers and psychics had picked up on signals that seem similar to death, what you would pick up on when something has gone awry, okay? I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with a gas leak. I never have, but from my understanding of it is that there's a smell sometimes, not always, but there's a smell. There's signs you can pick up on when gas is leaking okay and they picked up on some of those signs okay but like I said it could be something else we have a bundle of joy oh you will welcome a delightful and charming new addition into your life oh okay interesting let's see what the next card is saying the meeting compatibility is key relating to someone enjoying their company and aligning values show compatibility okay I think that the the psychics and tarot readers are saying hey she already gave Prince William his kid, his heir. He has his heir now. It's almost like, you know, I'm seeing with the meeting, like they're shaking hands, like pleasure doing business with you, okay? And so, man, they don't, they really do not have a good opinion of Prince William. That's what I'm thinking. Some of these Saturdays and psychics do not have a good opinion of Prince William. They feel that because she already gave the heir, the royal family was like, you know, like she had already done her job. Maybe the royal family was bidding her adieu. They had picked up on signs that the the you know them having an heir, the heir being born, they felt was a red flag. Like they already have their heir. They don't need Catherine anymore. Okay, let's see what the next set of cards are saying. Multiple babies, right? Okay, I see a lot of diapers there. We have numbing, different, and divorce the solution of marriage right I was kind of getting the vibe like pleasure doing business with you <laughs> you giving me my son so we're good now all right that's what I was getting from this top part this is what they're sensing okay they're sensing this energy from Princess Catherine's relationship okay they've done detective work okay and, and I'm glad I'm glad to see this that they're not just saying oh I saw Princess Catherine dead so she's dead they are putting the clues together they had sensed that the heir had been born and so Prince William was like, thank you, pleasure doing business with you. They were sensing that. Look, we got some diapers, more Povich style drama. We have indifferent, numbing, okay, and divorce, okay. Um, I think that they had sensed the, the divorce and the separation between Princess Catherine and Prince William. I think that, you know, they feel like this was a deal. Princess Catherine made a deal to provide the heir. Okay, and that it wasn't a real love marriage. That's kind of what I feel like some of them are sensing. And they feel that Prince William and the royal family had become indifferent to Princess Catherine, as in apathetic, not caring. They don't care if she's hurt. They don't care if something's wrong with her. All they care about is that they got the, their heir. And I, they, I feel that they're also picking up on the fact that Prince William and Princess Catherine are going through a, a, a marital rift. So they were putting all these signs together to help them come to the conclusion that Princess Catherine is dead. All right, let's go ahead and pull one more stack of cards here. 
what could be the personal motivation in these tarot readers and psychics, uh, them claiming that Princess Catherine is dead, right? That's another thing I'm curious about. Why are other tarot readers and psychics still claiming that Princess Catherine is dead? We have trying to stir the pot and turn others against you. Okay. So I see that for these some of these tarot readers and psychics who claim that Princess Catherine is dead. I think maybe some of them don't like Prince William. That's what I'm seeing too. And they want people to be suspicious of Prince William. Okay. The, and I see that some of them are just simply making mischief. Some of them, uh, not all, some of them are making mischief and just trying to stir the pot, so to speak. Okay. We have, they wish they were granted the same opportunities coming your way. Okay. So it could be that some of them are jealous of Princess Catherine. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm just going to say what I see in the cards. All right. Some of them are jealous of Princess Catherine. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Next, we're seeing they're praying for your misfortune in order to bring about their own personal gain. Wow. Didn't I tell you this, guys? Not all the tarot readers and psychics I've seen, some of them I think are being genuine when they say that they, they feel that Princess Catherine is dead. But remember I said about some others, I feel like they were literally, I, like, I, I started telling my the people who would comment on my page, oh, she's dead, she's dead, she's dead. I was like, do you know it sounds like someone has turned you on to praying for Princess Catherine's death, claiming it before you're even sure she's dead. This is a way to pull that reality into being. So some of this is dark magic. I think that some of these tarot readers have decided, eh, you know what, we're going to manifest Princess Catherine's death because we want something, we have something to gain, personal gain. I have nothing to gain from Princess Catherine's death. Um, and whatever could be gained from Princess Catherine's death I don't want, I don't want anything to do with causing her death or attracting it or pulling it in. And I feel that there are some tarot readers and psychics who are, I think, cloaking, pretending that Princess Catherine is dead because they want to gain likes, they want to gain views, they want to gain uh, all kinds of things. They want to gain profit from saying this and claiming this, okay? So please be aware as you're watching these people. I'm not saying go around doubting everyone, but ask yourself, why is this person insisting on the death of someone else, okay? Besides them saying, no, I've seen clues, I've seen clues, what could they stand to benefit? Ask yourself that. What could this terror reader or psychic stand to benefit by claiming Princess Catherine is dead, okay? They're getting a lot of likes, they're getting a lot of support, they did during that time when she was missing and was not seen. They got a lot of subscriptions, they got a lot of traction during that time. So they, they gained a lot. They gained a viewership, they gained a followership. I do not want to gain my viewership and followership by wishing um, or hoping for bad things to have happened to others because that is bad karma and that will attract bad karma. I prefer to focus on the positives and focus on what I'm seeing and keep it rational, keep it real. Okay, that's my style. If you like that style, keep watching my channel. I'm going to keep bringing you realistic, down-to-earth, honest readings from a conservative reader. I'm your girl. I'll keep doing it, okay? But if you're looking for sensationalistic readers, these are sensationalistic readers who are saying these things. They're praying for her misfortune. They are praying for Princess Catherine's misfortune in order to bring about their own personal gain. Wow. And I feel like they're numb to it. They're numb to whatever happens to her, they're numb. Okay, next we're seeing their failures keep them obsessing over your personal victories. So here's what I think, guys. I think that there are some people out there who have low vibrational energy. Um, so I'm not going to be saying anything on here that I don't see. Uh, but I feel that some people, yeah, some people have the jealous bug. They're jealous of Princess Catherine or they want some of what she has. And this is their way. Pray for misfortune as a way to bring about their own personal gain, to bring about their own victory, okay? It's sad, but this is the truth, and, and this is why I pulled these cards here. This is from the Evil Eye Oracle, okay? And there are positive cards in this deck. There are positive cards, but we're getting a lot of negative energy coming through for some of these uh, tarot readers and psychics that are doing this out of personal gain. I do think that some of them are trying to help. I do think that some of them may also may feel like isolated maybe they want to hold on to princess catherine i see someone here being cut off from the boat too yes someone may come to rescue them but they're cut off in the meantime i see someone trying to hold on say hold on to me please pull me up okay i see someone sapping look think about when you put a tap into a tree what are you doing 
you're getting something from it, okay? There's a flow coming out of this energy of them claiming that Princess Catherine is dead. There's a flow of energy that brings them some benefit, brings them success. Some of them are just using their minds to try to figure it out, okay? Some of them are genuinely trying to figure this thing out. Some of them have genuinely seen some signs, some smoke signals, like the difficult marriage. Look, we have a couple here and a couple there split apart and this one is like shaking her hand like you know pleasure doing business with you with the baby right there okay and they feel like you know a gas leak even though they feel like it's a successful union i think some of these terrorists and psychics have also seen that the you know princess catherine and and prince william successfully did what they needed to do created an heir to the throne and they're feeling like there's something fishy going on because this has happened i don't know why <laughs> fascinating fascinating and this is what i'm seeing in the cards um i'm not trying to bash anyone uh, i'm just trying to say what i see in the cards because that's all i ever do that's all i ever do um and the reason why if i do future readings and i know something's a little different than the last reading i saw i'll say the thing that was a little different uh so that my audience can understand that the energies are constantly changing right the cards look at things as they are based on the way things look now what is likely to happen in the future what is currently going on and, and these are snapshots they're not full 3d videos and and a tape recorder in the room inside of people's brain and seeing all the conversations all the thoughts they had it's not that thorough but tarot readings pick up on energies and it's our job to interpret these responsibly ethically efficiently and with great grace very important because we're speaking on people's lives here it's a kind of a magic it's a kind of a magic these tarot readings it's important that we try to avoid speaking negativity onto people's lives or being too eager to speak negativity onto people's lives because it's only going to come back on them okay the people who speak these negative things now if the negative signs i see are overwhelming then i'm going to talk about how overwhelming those negative signs are but i'm still not going to flat out claim anything because tarot readings are an alleged truth alleged right it's just a supposition so keep that in mind, who you choose to believe. I'm going to keep on digging for the truth, and I'm going to keep doing my best by you guys to share with you the conservative, balanced truth as much as I possibly can. If you've enjoyed this reading or found it informative or enlightening, uh, please put a like on it, and please drop your comments below. I would love to see what you have to say. Any thoughts, questions you may have for me for future readings, let me know. Take very good care of yourselves, okay? Bye.